good morning and welcome to the Sunflower News. This is Jack and Jada reporting the news. Today is Friday, March 22nd, 2019. The forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies with a high of 60 degrees. The weekend forecast calls for rain with the highs in the low 60s. Stay dry. Chicken fried steak on a bun, corn, baby carrots, pineapple orange cup, peach slices, and milk will be served for lunch today. Nicholson and Chloe Williams are celebrating their birthdays today. We hope you both have a great day. Happy birthday wishes go out to Logan Fields, Lila Blackie, Alexa Sullivan, Kaylee Davison, Mason Barnett, and Jose Vasquez, who will be celebrating their birthdays over the weekend. Happy birthday, happy birthday to all. Well, we've certainly gotten back into the school routine since coming back from spring break. As you know, state assessments testing began on Monday. State assessments will continue until April 18th. After that, we will go straight into map testing. Many of you have already been testing this week, but we still want you to, to bring you a few words of advice and encouragement from your teachers so that you can do your absolute best. Let's take a listen. If you're nervous or feeling frustrated, just remember to stop for a few seconds and take a few deep breaths. You'll feel much better and ready to go again. Miss McDaniel always tells us to read all of the passage. Hey Sunflower, make sure that you're showing your work on the state assessments and on map assessments, but just show the work that you need to show. You don't need to do a lot of extra work because you don't want to waste time. I recommend on a math question to estimate uh, the answer before you actually work out the problem. Um, it helps you know if your answer is reasonable or not. My test tip is be slow and steady like a turtle. Being the first one done does not guarantee success. A test tip that I would like to share is make sure that you read all of your answer choices very carefully and rule out any that you know for sure are incorrect. One of the testing tips that I tell my students to do is to work all of their math problems out on their whiteboard. Mrs. Meredith always tells us to go back and check her answers. I always tell my students to get a good night's sleep the night before the test and eat a good breakfast the day of the test. Good luck! For state testing, I would skip questions if you're stuck and you can come back to it. Um, for map testing, just try your best and do as much as you can, um, just because you can't skip on map testing. But for state, skip it. If you are stuck, don't waste too much time on it, and you can always come back to it. Boys and girls, be very precise when you choose your answer choices. Read them carefully before clicking. Good luck. Remember that story when you were a little kid about the in little engine that could? Think of that when you go into the test and tell yourself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and you will. Hi, my one test tip would be to relax. You've already learned everything this year. There is no reason to stress out. All of your teachers have taught you everything you need to know. You will do awesome. One great testing tip is to preview and read your questions before you read your story. That way when you're reading, you know uh, what you need to be looking for. Good luck. Make sure you get enough rest, eat a healthy breakfast, and do your best. My test tip for everybody this year is to go slow and take your time while you're taking the test. If you get stuck on a question, don't get frustrated. Just flag it and come back to it. Always remember to bring paper and pencil so that you can look back at the work that you did when you're checking your answers. My test tip 
is to read the questions first before you read the passage. Thanks everyone for those great tips. Now, let's get down to business and do our very best on each and every test. Have a good, safe weekend. Now please stand and face the flag.